Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on cybersecurity. In this video, we shall learn about honeypots. We will learn different types of honeypots, and why it is used by a lot of organizations. Let's get started. Well, in simple words, honeypot is a trap for catching hackers in the act of cyber attack. It is a computer system intended to mimic likely targets of cyber attacks. Honeypots are decoy systems or servers, deployed alongside production systems within your network. When deployed as enticing targets for attackers, honeypots can add security monitoring opportunities for security teams, and misdirect the adversary from their true target. A honeypot is a trap that an IT pro lays for a malicious hacker, hoping that they'll interact with it in a way that provides useful intelligence. It's one of the oldest security measures in security universe, but please note that luring hackers onto your network, even on an isolated system, can be a dangerous game. So play your cards wisely. Honeypots are designed to purposely engage and deceive hackers, and identify malicious activities performed over the internet. Multiple honeypots can be set on a network to form a honey net. Often a honeypot will be deliberately configured with known vulnerabilities in place, to make a more tempting or obvious target for attackers. Let's understand what are various types of honeypots. First we have the production honeypot. They are used by companies and corporations for the purpose of researching the motives of hackers, as well as diverting and mitigating the risk of attacks on the overall network. Next is research honeypot. They are used by non-profit organizations and educational institutions, for the sole purpose of researching the motives and tactics of the hacker community, for targeting different networks. Then we have malware honeypots. These use known replication and attack vectors to detect malware. For example, honeypots, like a ghost, have been crafted to emulate as a USB storage device. If a machine is infected by malware that spreads via USB, the honeypot will trick the malware to infect the emulated device. Next is, spam honeypots. These are used to emulate open mail relays and open proxies. Spammers will test the open mail relay by sending themselves an email first. If they succeed, they then send out large quantities of spam. This type of honeypot can detect and recognize this test and successfully block the massive volume of spam that follows. Next we have, Database Honeypot. Activities such as SQL injections can often go undetected by firewalls, so some organizations will use a database firewall, which can provide honeypot support to create decoy databases. Next is, Client Honeypots. Most honeypots are servers listening for connections. Client honeypots actively seek out malicious servers that attack clients, monitoring for suspicious and unexpected modifications to the honeypot. These systems generally run on virtualization technology and have a containment strategy to minimize risk to the research team. Last on our list is honey nets. Rather than being a single system, a honey net is a network that can consist of multiple honeypots. Honey nets aim to strategically track the methods and motives of an attacker, while containing all inbound and outbound traffic. Let's now understand why is honeypot important. Honeypots are not always designed to identify hackers. Honeypot developers are often more interested in getting into the minds of hackers, which then permits them to design more secure systems, as well as to educate other professionals about the lessons learned through their efforts. Overall, honeypots are considered an effective method to track hacker behavior, and heighten the effectiveness of computer security tools. They break the attacker kill chain and slow attackers down. They are straightforward and low maintenance. And, they help you test your incident response processes. I hope the content was useful. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.